Hi guys, Gilliam Elliott here with another educational video about medical tourism. Uh, today guys, I want to go over medical tourism conferences, um, also known as global healthcare conferences, and when the best time to go to one of these conferences is. Is it before you start the business? Is it after you start the business? Is it after you've been in business for a few years? When is the best time to go to one of these conferences to get the maximum uh, experience from one of these global healthcare conferences? So the way I came up with this subject today is I was actually speaking to an individual who was interested in becoming a medical tourism facilitator. And he wanted to know, is it best to go to one of these conferences before he starts the business or after he starts the business? So I wanted to share with you guys what my response to his question was. And so if you want to get the maximum experience or you want to get the maximum benefits to go into one of these global healthcare conferences, it's my belief that you should have the basic framework of your business already set up. But if you want to uh, meet healthcare providers, if you want to meet insurance companies and you want to form these partnerships, I think it's best to get a basic understanding of what medical tourism is before you go to one of these conferences. I mean, having things like your business cards already made and on hand so you can provide them to people at the conference, um, you know, having your business plan already laid out, having your website online, really just having the basic frameworks of your business already uh, set up. So when I started off in medical tourism in 2012, one of my jobs was actually to put on medical tourism conferences. And I put on medical tourism conferences here in the US. I put on conferences uh, in Taiwan and other places. So I have experience putting on medical tourism conferences and they can be a great resource for, for startup companies. But I do believe that when you go to these conferences, you need to try to get the maximum benefit. And the best way to have the maximum experience at these conferences is to have the basic framework of your business already set up. So like I said, having business cards on hand, knowing who your target audience is going to be for your business, um, having your website online. So if you do meet a potential partner uh, at one of these conferences, you can uh, share with them your information. They can look you up online and you guys can make a really meaningful connection that you can profit from down the road. So my belief is that you should get certified. You should take some form of training uh, before you go to one of these conferences so you can have the maximum experience possible. And so if you do meet a healthcare provider or an insurance company or a strategic partner, you will have your business set up so you can benefit and profit from these relationships that you form at these global healthcare conferences. So guys, if you do want to learn more about medical tourism, I'm going to leave some links below to our certification program, as well as some other resources that I teach you guys the ins and outs of the industry, as well as best practices. I do know there's a lot of medical tourism conferences around the world. Not all of them are equal. So you definitely want to make sure you find a conference that makes sense for what you're trying to achieve and make sure the conference has a good track record and, uh, and get testimonials from it. Find out what it's all about and make sure it fits with what you're trying to do with your company. Uh, are they talking about your specific target market and the patients that you want to attract? Make sure the conference is aligned with your business model and what you're trying to achieve. Look at the speakers, look at the topics and just make sure before you invest and you go to these conferences that they really make sense for your business hey guys thanks for watching this short video today if you found value in this video please like share and subscribe uh, if you're on youtube uh, subscribe to the channel so you can see other videos like this um, you guys can also add me on instagram linkedin and other social media platforms but i look forward to speaking to you guys soon and have a good day